Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, blue liquor, shells, death, slay, stars, peasants, vassals, minions, minions. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, the Islamic State and waterboarding. Um, because this story came out, and of course I find it uh, very, very interesting, very fascinating uh, that we have uh, the uh, group like uh, the Islamic State who are savvy enough in this propaganda war to invoke that that uh, that technique. Uh, not only that, this uh, Foley video, which of course is of questionable uh, validity, uh, shows a uh, Foley supposedly in this uh, orange jumpsuit, which is also uh, a good propaganda uh, tool because it also invokes uh, prisoners who are being held in Guantanamo. And uh, it's, there are reports that at least four hostages are, uh, were waterboarded by the Islamic State in Syria, including James Foley. And um, the one uh, Frenchman, who apparently has been released since, uh, said that Foley was uh, treated extra harshly because he had a evidence that his brother was in the United States Air Force. And uh, so, uh, so far with this, this story's come out, the CIA and FBI have uh, uh, declined to comment, and uh, as they, they would, because uh, this puts the, the United States in an awkward position. Of course, it, all along we've had uh, this uh, running dialogue uh, since the Bush administration, and uh, all this uh, dirty laundry's been aired, and uh, tapes destroyed in this ongoing battle about uh, whether it was torture, how much of it was done, and uh, does it qualify as torture. And uh, it's pretty clear it's torture. I mean, if you just go back in, uh, in U.S. history, as a matter of fact, uh, the United States considered waterboarding torture when the Japanese did it to American prisoners uh, during World War II. And, in fact, we have a congressman, ironically, uh, Dianne Feinstein, who said back in 2008, quote, that waterboarding dates back to the Spanish Inquisition and has been a favorite of dictators through the ages, including Pol Pot and the regime in Burma. Condoning torture opens the door for our enemies to do the same to captured American troops in the future, unquote. And uh, who would have thought, who would have thought that Dianne Feinstein uh, would have been right about something? But she was absolutely correct in this case. Uh, one of the problems uh, with this entire um, uh, exposure of the United States torture at places like Abu Ghraib and CIA rendition and torture spots, um, black prisons all over uh, the world. Uh, now uh, this has been exposed and uh, the United States can hardly take the high moral ground anymore because of this. And uh, it was foolish for the United States to take that risk, particularly because we now have studies that reveal uh, the torture gave us no uh, intelligence really to speak of at all. And in fact, uh, Sheikh Mohammed was water waterboarded 183 times. And, uh, and this is uh, certainly uh, torture. And now we have uh, ISIS using the same technique. And uh, Foley was also subjected to uh, mock executions, another technique used by the CIA, CIA and the U.S. military. And uh, nobody mentioned the fact that another video was also released uh, right after the Foley video of a Kurdish fighter apparently being beheaded for uh, collaborating uh, with the U.S. But um, I found a couple of things in the story that were uh, rather amusing in a dark way. Uh, one is the intelligence uh, community warned that releasing the CIA torture report details might, quote, inflame anti-U.S. passions, unquote, in the Middle East. Geez, you think? Uh, so these are so-called experts uh, running our foreign policy and deciding who lives and who dies in these far-off far countries. And, uh, and they think that uh, releasing the CIA torture report uh, might inflame anti-U.S. passions in the Middle East any more than they are now. A uh, ridiculous idea, um, unless it's really, really bad. Uh, it's really, really bad. And speaking of really, really bad, Another uh, U.S. official uh, also has an interesting quote. Uh, he said that, quote, uh, the Islamic State is a group that routinely crucifies and beheads people. To suggest that there is any correlation between the Islamic State's brutality and past U.S. actions is ridiculous 
and feeds into their twisted propaganda, unquote. And the problems I have with that uh, statement are, first of all, trying to quantify uh, brutality. Um, and that's an interesting concept to get into in general. And I'm going to discuss the idea of terrorism uh, fully in the upcoming video. But the, the idea that somehow uh, beheading and executing people in the field uh, is any different than uh, uh, modern military tactics like the United States uses in the field, is, Israel uses in Gaza, uh, the Kiev government uses in Ukraine uh, to really try and uh, quantify that these acts are any less brutal uh, than uh, uh, beheading and uh, executing people. It's dubious. Um, it certainly seems more vicious and more cold-blooded, um, but maybe that's actually uh, not as bad as uh, uh, destroying so many people from a very safe distance. But uh, but anyway, and then he goes on to say that uh, if like there's any correlation between crucifying and beheading people and past U.S. Act actions, and that's actually an invalid argument because uh, people aren't making a correlation between uh, beheading and executing people um, with uh, the Islamic State and CIA, we're talking about comparing torture to torture. And uh, certainly the fact that uh, uh, ISIS or the Islamic State now is mimicking CIA techniques and uh, proving, uh, the, oddly enough, proving the point that it is torture because some, somehow the fact that uh, Foley and uh, other Westerners are being waterboarded and tortured by the Islamic State is driving the point home that it is indeed torture. So uh, uh, an interesting lesson to be passed on uh, by ISIS and another uh, propaganda uh, win for their uh, their excellent uh, campaign. And uh, and also to, to discuss uh, 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 torture uh, as past U.S. actions is also uh, relative, uh, although supposedly these uh, uh, techniques have been outlawed. Certainly there's areas in Afghanistan and other black sites around the world uh, where anything still goes, and I'm sure. And then, of course, to, to talk about their twisted propaganda as if uh, any propaganda used by any country or any entity, including uh, the Islamic State or any other uh, nation state or any other group or any other terrorist, um, is any less or more twisted. Uh, it's all relative. So, uh, so there we have it. Kind of an interesting uh, debate, at least according to these, these American officials, about uh, who's a better torturer, the CIA or uh, the Islamic State. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?